Damn, nigga. Yeah. Well, my fight, my first fight was about about eight million, and my next fight guarantees was, was fifteen mm. on the rematch. So, uh, for what I'm hearing, Andy's getting like ten, and Dubai spent a shitload of money to get AJ over there. So even though AJ got his ass up, he probably making close to seventy mil. Wow. Ooh. Sheesh. It's so like he has some numbers, yo. But that's what happens when you lose. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, at the first press conference in New York City, you met, you were shoving AJ, you were talking, uh, calling it out, you were doing a lot of things to upset him. First time we've really seen him like agitated. Yeah. Do you think that was a factor in the release fight uh, prior, besides him not being prepared or taking it seriously? Yeah, I mean, my thing is this, you know, every first of all, he had a Drake curse too. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but um, it being in Miami, not really training in New, in America or training in a new city, it kind of throws you off. You know what I mean? So it, it was, as like I said, everything was in. My favorite to win, you know. Everything was in my favorite to win, but uh, in the universe, it was supposed to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. You know what I mean? I take nothing from it. Like I said, everything's gonna make you stronger and move on from it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's what it is, bro. It is what it is, man. It's what it is. Hey, um, I know that you're friends with Errol Spence. You got a fight coming up. Yeah, yeah. Sean Porter's a fight. You have a breakdown prediction by any chance? Um, I, I'm cool with Sean Porter. I'm cool with his dad. Um. You have a brawler and a great boxer. I'm neutral. Barn I'm burner? neutral. Huh? Is that going to be a bar, uh, barn burner? I think it's going to be a great fight. I think it's going to be an amazing fight. I'm not picking a winner. I'm neutral. Two Mark, two brothers are going to go at it. But uh, I will say this. Errol Spence hit me up. Sean Porter did not. You know what I mean? So uh, best man win, though. You think that the winner of that's the best one to wait in the division, or they have to go through Pacquiao, Crawford, maybe? I think they're one of the best. I think whoever beats Pacquiao will be the best. Mm -hmm. Even though we know Pacquiao's out of his prime, he still got the name. Like, I was a boy Pac-Man, you know what I mean? So I think Pacquiao is still the best, even if past his prime, but it's kind of like that little cro that little kid syndrome that we grow up seeing these people, yeah, I'm going to knock your ass out. So I feel like whoever Sean Porter or Errol Spence win, they got to see Pacquiao. I think they knock Pacquiao ass out. They the man. Would you ever plan to go down, um, originally we talked to go down to Texas and train a little bit with Earl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want to do it. It's depending on time schedule and what we're going to do right now. Um, it might not be in this training camp while he's down there because I got to figure out my, my things on my side. But um, I think I'll definitely do it soon. I, I know I have some, I have quite a few family in Texas from Belize and, and Honduras. So uh, I would like to go down there and you know, spend some time with them. And, I haven't been to Austin, Texas since I fought in WCL in kickboxing. You know, it's been a couple of years, but uh, yeah, I think it definitely happened soon. You know? Do you ever yeah. miss kickboxing or anything like that? I or? still do it. Now, on a professional level, I love the atmosphere is different. You know, a big kickbox show atmosphere is totally different. And hearing Japanese people just yell shit out is really it's weird. You don't understand what they saying, but like, you're fucking hype. Ah, Kanichiwa, what the fuck? But it's, yo, it's hype though. Japan. I don't know. Japanese commentation is something totally different. They do shit different in Japan, and I love it though. I love it. So, uh, no, no, I, I, I miss it to an extent, but the money's a lot better than boxing. <laughs> do you get into MMA as well? You're yes, MMA? yes, I'm big MMA fan. Uh, Nate, Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal, are you following that? Yes, 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 yes. I think Nate Diaz is going to smoke him though. I think, yeah, because more grit. Like he's, he's hungry, he has some time off. But uh, you know, my favorite fighters is, is you know, is Osman, that's my boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Luke, uh, my man Luke Rocco, um my man Andy R Rumble Johnson's coming back. Yeah, yeah. Um shit, man, this is I can't remember everybody right now, I'm trying to think of right now, but you know. Man, yeah, I love all fighting. Anything fighting I like. What do, you, what do you think about the bare knuckle thing? I think Ishe Smith is coming up doing that. Um, I, I, think, I think it's a, it's a chance for fighters that are a little bit past their prime in boxing to make money still. I think it's great. I think it's still a great avenue for guys to make bread. I think it's a little dangerous, you know, but, um, you know, we're all fighters and the fighters is, is, is in us. And if you still feel like you got it and have an opportunity to provide for your family, go for it. From a technical aspect, is there any difference you think? Um, I've heard oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's big so difference, difference big between difference. boxing because and bare knuckle? Because I think in bare knuckle, you're going to pick your shots a little different. You know what I mean? And you're going to, you're going to, you won't be lazy throw certain punches. Um, you're going to try to avoid elbows on top of people's heads.